exercise 2b and in the 2b exercise almost it is the repetition of all the questions only the uh, difference is the values has been changed so i will be giving the values here you have to work out by yourself and which are the sums are not able to do that i am going to solve now so just look into the page number 24 exercise 2b the first question is pramod deposits rupees 600 per month in a recurring deposit account for 4 years if the rate of interest is 8% per year calculate the maturity value of his accounts those who are having textbook you can read the question and write the values by yourself those who are not having the textbook i am giving the values now i am going to repeat the question pramod deposits rupees 600 per month in a recurring deposit account for 4 years so here the p value is equal to rupees 400 and y value is 4 years and if the rate of interest is 8% per year calculate the maturity value r value is given r is equal to 8% Must he deposit every month in a recurring deposit 
account to get required money at the end of two years. The rate of interest is being calculated 8% per annum. So the P-value is not given. The same method we are going to follow. The first method you should, first step you should use is total sum deposited. The total sum deposited, the formula in your address equals to P into N. The P-value we don't have the right as it is into N value we have to use 2 years. Always we should represent N value in the months. 2 years means it is nothing but 24 months. So mention here the base of N 24. So this value is 24P. Next we are going to calculate what is the I value by using the formula. I is equals to
Next, we go for the sixth sum. Gopal has a cumulative deposit account and deposits rupees 900 per month for a period of 4 years. If he gets rupees 52,020 at the time of maturity, find the rate of interest. Here also I will be giving the values. You should solve by yourself children. All the values I will be writing on the board.
divided by 40.44 shift to numbers so you can put two zeros in the numerator that is 8088 two zeros are making extra because we have to shift to decimal point so 4044 so you know one is not and two is not and two zeros so p value is equal to rupees 200 Next, we go for the ninth sum. Sharif opened a recurring deposit account in a bank and deposited rupees eight eight hundred per month for one and a half years. If he received rupees fifteen thousand eighty four at the time of maturity, find the rate of interest per annum. Here I am going to give the values. Should calculate what are the what is the rate of interest. Thank you. 